This is Laura GB and this is day two of 12 days of paginated reports. In this video we connect the data and create a simple list report. Here we are in the template we created in the previous video. There's a link to a copy of the template in the notes below. So I start by saving it as a new name. So file save as this PC and I call it gift list. The first task is to connect to a data source. My data is stored in Azure SQL Server database. So I right click on data sources and select add data source. I'm going to give my data source a name Christmas gifts and then my connection type is Microsoft Azure SQL database and then we click build and into here I put my server name and for my server, my authentication type is going to be SQL Server Authentication and I can type in my user ID and password. And I'm going to tick the save password. Then I'm going to click test connection. And there we are, it succeeded. And that gives me a quick test to make sure I've got my username right etc but also it populates this drop down list so I can now pick 12 days of Christmas as my database name and then click OK and that fills in the complete connection string I then click OK again and there is my data source created the next step is to create a data set. This data set is going to be just the list of gifts. So partridge, gold ring, etc. So right click on data sets and click add data set. So then I need to enter a name for this. So I'm going to call this gift list. I select my data source. And then we need to build the query. Now the query is going to be SQL, but we have a query designer down button down here. I click into there. And in the database pane on the left here, I'm going to expand database view, expand tables. And the gift list is what I want. So all those four fields. So I'm going to tick in the top box, which selects all the fields. And there we are, we've got them there. I can click run query and prove that it works. And there is data. So then we can click OK. And there is our SQL written. I can then click OK again. Now we have a a data source and a data set, we're now ready to add a table. So onto the insert ribbon, I'm going to click the drop down arrow on table and select table wizard. We choose a data set, only got one, so let's pick, click on there and click next. And here are my fields. So I click on gift ID, now I want all four fields, so I'm going to click there and then hold down the shift key and click on cost and that selects all the four fields. I'm going to drag and drop them into the values. We're not doing groups in this report. I then click next. I don't want any subtotals. Okay, it's just a list of the gifts. And then I'm going to click next again. And there's my preview and I can click finish. So there's our table. It's in the wrong place at the moment, 
so we need to move it first. I am going to over in the right hand side here, I'm going to scroll down and find position and expand the location. So the left, I want it to be on the very left of my report. So I'm going to put in zero for that. And the top, I want it to sit just below my title, which is 1.5 centimetres tall. So there we are. It is now at the bottom there. So before we go any further, let's do a quick preview of the report and see what needs to be changed. So I click run and then I click print layout and there we are, we can see our report. Now we need to realign some of these column headings and also the cost needs to be formatted. Back into design view, I'm going to click on gift ID and then using the shift key, I'm going to click on the other two headings I want to change the alignment of and then on the home ribbon, I'm going to click left aligned. Then we're going to make the gift column a little wider. Then finally, we need to reformat the sum cost. So I'm going to click into that box and then I'm going to click again and it gets highlighted in blue. If I do a right click now, I get placeholder properties. And this will allow you to change a variety of things, but including the number format. So I click on number. I'm going to pick currency. I'm going to use the 1000 separator. And then click OK. So let's go back and look at our preview again. And there we are. We've got our titles and our cost is formatted nicely. So now we're ready to publish this up to the Power BI service. So back in design view, we click on file and save as, and I'm going to click on Power BI service and click into my workspace. and call it gift list and then click save. So let's switch across to our workspace. And there we are. There is our report. So if I click on gift list, there we are. We can see our report is available. This is the web view. We can switch over to a page view and that report can be downloaded or exported into other formats. So in this video, we have connected to a data source and created a table and then published that report to the Power BI service. In the next video, we'll be using Power Automate to email this report to someone. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now.